So now let's learn how to use optical flow inside of Premiere Pro. So you got, I got this Premiere Pro window right here. So now I got this footage. So if I were to play it, you can see that is a footage of San Francisco town. So now what I want to do is I want to make this spot really slow. So I want to slow it down. So the default thing that you do is I'm going to drag you, you drag it into a new sequence and I'm just going to cut off into this section right here. So I just want from this section right here. Uh, so I'm just going to delete this out. I'm, I'm going to set an in and out point. I want uh, from this section, so I'm, I want this as an in point and right from over here till this point. So if I were to drag over here, I can really slow it down. Not to slow it down, I can go to the rate stretch tool and then simply drag it across. So go over here, select the clip right here and then go to the rate stretch tool right over here. And then let me just go in onto the side right over here and then just increase this inside. So if I were to play this, you can see that it does slow down, but it actually is very, very laggy as you can see. So what we can do is uh, from newer versions of Premiere Pro CC, I'm using 2018, so it'll work in version uh, 2018 or later than that. So I'm just going to go over here uh, onto the clip. I'm going to right click on this and then I'm going to go over here on to uh, the speed and duration. And over here, you can see that by default, it's in frame sampling. So the better version of this is frame blending, but the best version is optical flow. It really uses uh, artificial intelligence to uh, make everything smooth and uh, it generates new frames. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press Enter. So it actually renders out um, everything. So it's rendering out as you can see. And now you can see that it is rendered. And if I were to play it, you can see that it is really smooth. So if I were to play it, you can see that the frames has been generated and those frames were not there before is actually there now. So you can see that it is really smooth and really good to watch. So all of these frames were generated just like this. So you can take any footage, but if there are too many movements in the video, it does not really work out. So. Uh, you got to be careful about that. So you can see that this is how it really works. So you can see that everything is smooth. So that is how uh, the, uh, the optical flow actually works out just like that. So let me just drag one, v um, one to the top again and expand this. So I'm going to go over here and let us compare the difference over there again. So over here, this is the original footage, as you can see. So it is not processing any frames, but if I were to disable it on the bottom layer, you can see that this is really smooth, just like that. So that is how optical flow works. It generates frames for you. And even if you have don't have a higher frame rate, it, it, the slow motion really looks good. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.